I, I didn't realize that until you just said it, but this was made for TV. This never even made it to theaters. And it is teenage dream oh. quality, okay? I'm telling you, it, it's an underrated treasure. It's okay, so yeah, it's it's rated poorly. I think it's got a 2.6 out of 10. The first part of good news about this is that the trailer is only 50 <laughs> seconds. Andy is going to have worst movie locked up after today. This episode features a movie that was rated PG-13 for strong language, so please watch with appropriate caution. Y'all ready? Born ready, Chief. Yeah. My whole thing is trying to get these intros to be a little bit Hang more... Hang on. <laughs> oh, what the heck? I need to get some red in my face. It's like, I'm ready. All right, let's go. We don't have... Well, what in the world? He's got more Nutella. Are we going yet? I'm I'm ready. Of course you are. <laughs> All right. Everybody, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Plot Twist, our video park a pod. Go. Yeah, all right. Podcast. Are you ready? Nailed it. Let's Podcast. do this. You didn't know there's an R in podcast, did you? Professional uh, broadcasting. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Hey, everybody. What is going on? Welcome to another episode of Plot Twist, our video podcast where we try and defend movies we think are undervalued or underrated based on the opinion of critics and just regular average people. We're going to be sharing the trailer and the plot of a movie while everybody else gets to grill it. This episode is featuring one of my favorite underrated movies, uh, which is called Ghost Shark, which is a sci-fi channel classic. So I'm going to be sharing a brief synopsis, and then I'm going to go through the uh, the trailer. We'll go through the plot and they can ask as many questions. We're, we're hoping to have two things. One, we want to be able to uh, represent the best movie and get the best movie award while simultaneously trying to aw avoid getting the worst movie award for each season. So in this episode, I am Sweetheart of Sweetheart Entertainment. Joining me on the Sweetheart side, I got Mark with a C. And I got Andy Raffle House Jocelyn. And then our special guest of the day, we have Miss Katie DeMondi. Katie, what's going on? Hi, not much. Uh, my name is Katie DeMondi. It says Nicholas DeMondi in the video, but I promise that's not me. Um, <laughs> and uh, go up after this, and so we can tell that you use Zoom a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I live in Atlanta with my husband. We both work in the film industry. Um, not a whole lot going on right now due to COVID. Um, I'm also the resident pregnant lady of this podcast. So, you know, just spending my time eating snacks, sleeping, living that pregnant life. So it's pretty good. That's, that's weird that you took that you took that title over from Andy. He used yeah. to be the resident <laughs> pregnant person. Yeah. That's true. Okay. On yeah, the babies. One where you're not there, he is the resident pregnant woman. Uh, I, I love pickles. <laughs> I do too. I do too. I can't say that I've had like, you know, that pickle ice cream craving. Um, yeah. Mine is more like muffins is my go-to. Um, not pickle muffins. Oh, like I was about to say, let's get on board with that. <laughs> no. no, more like chocolate chip muffins. You know. Muffins have been my go-to for a while. I swear I am like, I am inner pregnant woman. I'm telling you. Probably a um, little bit. All right, so let's jump into this. Uh, this is going to be very exciting for you, Katie, because I know that you and I both enjoy our sci-fi movie classics. So oh, Ghost absolutely. Shark, it's real simple. Uh, uh -huh. There's a town, there's a coastal town that uh, it doesn't just have a shark problem, it has a ghost shark problem. Now here's the problem with it. These these sharks still need to be in the water, but if it's any part of water, and I'm talking like house faucets, I think sometimes they come through the sewers. Uh, one time there's a, a fire hydrant and the water comes out and a ghost shark is able to channel itself and go through the water. So the problem with this town is they have an infestation of ghost sharks. Anything water related, they can come through and attack people. But when they attack people, it's real life. Like it's not a ghost going through you. They can actually kill people still. 
So they're trying to figure out this mystery of how that's even possible. And so you got uh, shark hunters tag teaming with uh, ghost hunters to try and figure out the dark secrets of the town. So I'm going to share with you guys the trailer to this bad boy. And uh, it's just good old classic sci-fi uh, glory. That's amazing. All right. We're going. Apparently my window's got a lot going on. All right, y'all seeing it? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's full screen it. And boom. That's both. What the f is he? Who's got a great white bomb? Help me! Oh. And you can't explain how a shark killed three oh, people dark. on the deck of a boat. Ghosts are real. <laughs> I don't have to have a list of anymore. You don't wake up. Wait, I recognize that girl. Maybe all we gotta do is stay dry and it'll leave us alone. She's from Seventh Heaven. So That's Ruthie. Seventh Heaven. Makes no oh, sense. Heaven. Ghosts are logical. Oh no. It's behind you! All we need is the will to live, and that thing is coming after us. Get out of the water! Your daddy brought this horror into our world. You get to send it back. That's amazing. Oh wow. Ooh. That's beautiful. Hmm. Yes. It get better than that. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got questions, but oh, go before, ahead. Yeah, before even getting into the movie, the trailer brought two things to light for me. Number one, the guy's right. If you stay dry, you're good. Problem He's not wrong. Move, He's roll, the, correct. roll the credits. That's all you need to know. Yeah. And then the second was, at some point, somebody said, all we need is a will to live, and they'll come after us. <laughs> so just don't have a will to live and stay and dry they, and, and they you're good yeah. Yeah, anybody from fair, age whatever. 22 to 35 is safe from all of these sharks so wait, I, <laughs> so wait so these sharks can go in any form of water any water that's okay what, uh, so if you saw right there there was a pool party so it got to go through I, the right water, about like it filtered yeah which not gonna lie i always was scared about that even in grandma's pool like as a kid you're like there's gonna be a shark at some point which is totally <laughs> dumb because it's like middle of nowhere georgia and you're like okay there's no sharks in the pool but close well your you eyes. don't know that you, you i have a feeling that. you really don't know i have a feeling this movie is going to do for going to the bathroom what psycho did for taking showers <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah absolutely but I, um, okay so if it's any form of water like mm -hmm. how much Water is in the human body again. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, just wondering. It's seventy-five percent water. We found, so yeah. we found the hole in the plot. <laughs> if it, yeah. Already, already. Not a hole if, in the plot. If, if nothing, a sip of water could unleash baby <clears throat> sharks in your stomach. Well, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. All right, so I miss, I misspoke. So when I said any water, so I, I made an assumption that you guys would intelligently connect the dots. It's a coastal <laughs> town. So okay. the water is coming from oh, the comes. ocean and filtering into yeah, right. the city and then being purified for their water and stuff like that. That's how, there's still a connection. That's oh, basically what I it is. Okay. So it's not just any water. It's like if it came from the ocean and can channel back to the ocean, they come up yeah, that. Right. And that's why they can come through the sewers, through the like pool water, stuff like that. All of the stuff in the sewer, that's basically their sure. major jumping point. Oh yeah, because it's so, like reverse Nemo. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. What, what's their uh, stance on water vapor? What's your stance on water vapor? I'm for um, 